Alright, so we are going to um, use FileZilla. It's a free software and it's open source software, so you don't have to pay anything for that. And uh, we were we are going to make a website. So first of all, I'll go to my uh, VPS hosting server, which is Linode in the case. I'll type Linode.com and I will enter. my credentials so I'll click on login and now it is showing me all the servers which I made for my different websites so first one is for my different websites and second one is for different one so since I'm going to update the details I'll go to my first Linode which is this I'll click on remote access and then I will look for this IP address so I'll copy this IP address and then I go to putty I'll type here to check if it is working for the same route and test users so I created okay so it shows that yeah it's working so I will type exit I'll again open the same thing because this time we are going to log in with a different user and the user would be test2 test2 and the password should ask yes it is asking and the password is confirm why I'm doing so because root is a password by which you can log into the main server location so in case if we commit any kind of mistakes you would not be able to recover it so it's better to do something in a user account so I have created this test to users in my uh, Linux server and now I'm going to access this through my FileZilla I'll type exit go to FileZilla and this is my host name oh sorry uh, I'll go to my website and type copy the IP address and I'll type here username is test2 password is I cannot tell you and the port number would be 22 now let me quickly connect it and let's see if it is connected or not alright so it is connected now so we have to uh, upload something which would be staying in my location of my Linux server okay so in the case like if you talk about everything here this is my location and this is Atul so these are the user accounts which I created earlier so I need to delete it permission denied okay and I even cannot delete this one as well yes so basically it is not providing me the solution so I'll go to root and then I will delete everything here 2 2 and I'll click on quick connect about the connection and quickly connect to the main one so now it is aborting aborting the connection I'll minimize it and I'll reopen it it should show me everything so this is my uh, Linux server you see everything is under I'll go to etc and check if it has my user accounts or not but I don't think that it should have no it does not have anything which I'm looking for actually so I'll close it go to home okay under home we have the user account so first of all I'll delete this one okay I can delete because I have the root policy you can go to delete click on yes and again I'm going to I'm going to delete this test one
okay now it came it was deleting actually so that is why it was taking a long time so I only have this user account which is under home and here uh, I have to put my websites test tube under HTML no I have under test tube so I will put something here and that that should be like I'll go to um, downloads I'll go to D drive no it's not downloading so basically I'll go to uh, Delete. Okay, here it is. Download. And it was wrecked. Okay, this is wrecked. Now I transfer the file to uh, the themes folder and I'll go back to my mm, domain and I'll enter the file have been transferred and now let me check I'm gonna click on login oh it's with the password okay no problem I'll re-enter the password now and I'll click on enter well what happened like It is not taking well. Well, it took, and now I'm going to like uh, the portion or themes. Under themes, I will I will type something which is already installed. <laughs> 